Brian Terrell, you guys talked about this a little bit. The House has voted on this bill once already, but a procedural hiccup is forcing them to pr approve the measure again. Without objection, the motion to reconsider. Take two for the, for the House. <laughs> While Republicans prepared to re-vote on the sweeping tax overhaul, an excited House so Speaker Paul Ryan our, made the rounds on morning the TV. Economy. And we are convinced this will grow the economy. All the scorekeepers say it will grow the economy. It's just a question of degree. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act is passed. Early this morning, the Senate passed the $1.5 trillion rewrite of the tax code along party lines. It's the largest change to tax policy in more than three decades. There were protests in the Senate chamber, and Democrats were outraged. What a disgrace. That's what this bill is. It's an absolute disgrace. President Trump tweeted, the tax cuts are so large and meaningful, yet the fake news is working overtime to follow the lead of their friends, the defeated Dems, and only demean. The president and GOP leaders are promising jobs. If we can't sell this to the American people, we ought to go into another line of work. Many analysts find corporations are the biggest winners in the new tax bill. The corporate tax rate will be permanently slashed from more than 35 to 21 percent. Tax cuts for individuals will expire after eight years, while the standard deduction and child tax credit will double. A new study shows Americans making $75,000 or less will pay more in a decade. And wealthy Americans, they'll continue to see their tax cut. To celebrate his first legislative victory, President Trump plans to invite Republican lawmakers to the White House, and we expect to hear from him after the House votes on the bill. Judy Beck.